So in the South and well, all across the United States, there's a big tick issue, a tick problem. Uh, in different areas, different <laughs> regions, the ticks carry different tick-borne diseases. Uh, around here, Ehrlichia is one of the big tick-borne diseases. As we move up into the New England area and down into the Dallas area, there's a small subset of Lyme disease. We don't see it a whole lot around here, but Ehrlichia is definitely our tick-borne disease that causes a whole lot of issues with, with labs and dogs in general. Uh, so we always wanna make sure that we keep them on a good tick preventative. Next guard, that you see up there, that's one of our, our, our better tick products. You know, there's really no products out there that are gonna repel ticks, but there are products that, that, that work really well in that the dog is just like a chewable. They take that and then the tick attaches and it, and it dies and, and, and falls off before it has the, the time to transmit any of those bad diseases. So that's our major issue with ticks. It's not so much the fact that they got ticks all over them, it's the diseases they carry and the debilitating, the debilitating process that can come afterwards. So with Ehrlichia, they get really swollen joints. Uh, we can get rid of it with, with antibiotics and anti-inflammatories, but oftentimes it'll come back and you gotta retreat and retreat and retreat, and that can really, really hinder a dog's performance in the field. So keeping tick preventatives in place during tick season, definitely a wise move. Uh, flea preventative is the same, you know. A stressed dog is a, is a is a sick dog and a dog that doesn't perform quite like you want them to so it's it's always good to keep preventative on them and, and make sure that make sure you keep them covered and keep these guys tick and flea free